Hi, this is Amanda, Orn, and I'm Darren. In this video, we're going to show you all the night markets and markets all around Ao Nang, starting with this one, the Ao Nang Landmark Night Market. Let's go take a look. A nice looking market when you walk in. It's live music over there. All around our shops selling all sorts of souvenirs, clothes, lots of shopping here. Big seating area over here with live music and a bar. It's very well laid out this market. Out the back here is the food area. You hungry? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mmm. Smoothies, potato grill there. All sorts of grilled meats. Mm, good. See what we can find to eat. You want to try this? Oh, I want to try this too. Crocodile. Five. Oh, five for 89 baht. Okay, cup. Ah, uh, cup. Oh. <laughs> Sauce there. Testing the teeth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're sharp. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh, one more. Apunka. It's hot. Yeah. Looks good. Mm. Going in for more of that before she eats it all. Mm. Mm. I just got a bit that was nice and tender there actually. Got a couple of dipping sauces there, some Thai style one, and a sweet chili sauce by the look. Yep, that is good. about five rows of food shops here all sorts of food both Thai and international food and lots of seafood Let's see what else we can find let me come back for that one we shall see there's a whole heap more similar shops along the side there. There are a lot of people here. It's a busy place and it's like this pretty much every night. This market is quite touristy. It is a little more expensive than the local market, but it's well located, has a great range of products and is pretty hard to beat for convenience. 
I've been living in this area since 2012 and I visit the markets every other day. There's a great variety of markets here in the Aonang area. You'll definitely find something that will cater to every taste. Yes, we can get some pork sticks. You lead the way. Where? Oh, they look popular. Got beef sticks as well there. How's that? Is that good? Yeah, looks pretty good. You got the last chicken skin stick, yeah? They look pretty good too. How's that? Delicious. Can I try? Mmm. That is good. Wow. Chicken doesn't have a huge amount of flavor. It tastes like chicken skin. One said she reckons it's cooked in garlic oil. It's pretty good though. Our Nang Landmark Night Market is one of the largest markets in Ao Nang. It's got a great range of food and shopping and is also one of the two dedicated night markets in Ao Nang. Shop's popular. We can line up for that one. Let's see what they got. Salad rolls. There's gravel here, but you can obviously get crammed through. Outside the main shopping area is actually paved chicken on the rotisserie. That looks good. $2.50 bar for a chicken or $1.50 for half. So that's Ao Nang Landmark Night Market. It's a pretty cool market. Pretty much everything you could want here. There's live entertainment, lots of choices, both Thai and international food. It's a pretty comfy environment as well. It's very well organized. Most of the area is paved, so it's easy to get around. The only downside of it is it can be pretty crowded here. Let's check out the next market. Let's go. This is the Monday market in Ao Nang. It's actually open on Tuesdays and Fridays as well, so it's open three days a week. It is a very local market. So markets like this where the locals come to shop, prices are cheap, all the products are fresh, and there's a great range of stuff as well. These local markets are not actually night markets. They're generally open from about three till 7.30. The best times to come though, about four till seven. It's normally a bit better in the evenings because it's not so hot. We're here at about 4.30 today. There are no morning markets in Ao Nang. The nearest morning market is in Krabby Town, about 20 minutes away. There are about 45 shops here selling all sorts of street food and prepared food and drinks. You find lots of sweets here as well. There's also heaps of fresh foods, fruit and vegetables, meat, seafood, and lots of Thai cooking ingredients. 
You won't find any pork products here though. This is a halal market. It's also new and secondhand clothes, toys, sunglasses, cooking gear, jewelry, etc. There's a great range of stuff here if you're looking for some cheap shopping. The shops do change a little bit from day to day, but a lot of the vendors do the weekly circuit of daily markets around our Nang, so you'll quite likely see some of the same vendors that you see here at other markets as well. If you feel you're getting value and enjoying this video, please give us a thumbs up. It'll really help our channel to grow. Give YouTube the message that this is a good video and we'll really appreciate it. Thanks in anticipation. People often ask me, how do I decide what to eat at these markets? Generally, it's the first thing that I see that looks good. Got a lot of good looking stuff here though. Shop has a lot of stuff. There's something I've never tried before. Fried sandwiches. I'm gonna get some of those as well. Do like these. They're a fried cake. Twenty five baht. Twenty five baht. Bargain for all of that. Very popular shop. A little sandwich here. I've never tried these. I'm always trying new stuff in Thailand. Lived here nearly 12 years now and still finding things that I've never seen before, never tried before pretty regularly. Mm, it's pretty good. Should have tried these before. It's crunchy on the outside. Got a mayonnaise flavor in there. It's pretty good. Definitely will be having these again. Then my cake. These come in a range of different colors and flavors. Green one is pandan, I believe. Crunchy on the outside. It's kind of like a sponge cake in the middle. That is delicious, nice and sweet. Good texture to it. Again, very yum. If you come to Thailand, make sure you do try the street food. Some of the best food in the country. Now this shop also has something that I want. Grab a couple of these beef sticks. They look pretty good. Song. Beef stick next. Looks good. These are always tasty. I reckon this is the best tasting beef I've ever had in Thailand done this style. There's a couple of bits of fat in there which give it a nice flavor, so you may want to avoid that. This one's nice and tender. It's a bit sweet, a bit salty. Nice beefy flavor. These are so Moorish. Probably should have got more than two, I think. So some of the pros and cons of this market. It is very organized, easy to get around here. Great range of products as well, mainly in the fresh foods. There's plenty of parking out front, but you may have to walk a little bit. And also it is undercover, so it's good for shopping in the rain. The only con is that it's a little bit out of town. It's about 3.2 kilometers by road from the center of our main, about 2.8 kilometers as the crow flies. This is the Wednesday market in our Nang. It's a very busy market as you can see. Let's go get something to eat. This market has loads of food. Very popular on a Wednesday. I've already found something. You want that one first, do you? Buy some kruang, grilled and seasoned eggs. They're cooking as they sit there. 
you find all sorts of fresh fruit and vegetables here. Lots of prepared food as well. It's around about 60 shops usually. You want that. Thai sausages. Can't wait. Mm. All sorts of perfumes here. Yeah. Oh, second hand perfumes. Okay. How's your sausage going? Good? Hot, hot. Mm. Sorry? Up to you. What's she seen this time? Already finished the sweet ones. No dessert now. Yes. Corn here, sizzling away. Okay, let's go. Children want fries. Of course they do. French fries. 20 baht. So he's shaking them with the seasoning. Damn, we've got Amanda's cousin with us today. Oh, now drinks. There's plenty of drinks here. All sorts of additions that you can add. It's a great variety of food here at this place. This is actually the first market I came to in Thailand. Jackfruit they're cleaning there. There's also a lot of clothes shops here. Lots of fruit. Even socks and things. Huge variety of socks. Now what do you found? Icebox for everyone except me. Okay. Tasty looking pad thai there. It does get a bit crowded here at times and it's pretty hot during the day. It's about 6 o'clock at night now, which is a good time to come. Best times for this market between 4 and 7 or so. For that, not everyone's open and after that, a lot of people are starting to close because they've already sold out. As with all time markers, you'll find all sorts of fruit and guavas there. There were apples at the end, grapes. These things are called mango plums in English. Got some green mangoes, rose apples, long and, and sapodilla.
Ketika uh, any song ka? Song. Ani nang. Ani nang. Ani nang. Ani nang. Dry cup. Cup. Ah, siki ako cup. Cup. Hapon ka. Ten baht each or fifty for six bargain. Something like this. And they're rather popular. Lucky I got in before they sold out. Hapon ka. We lost the family. Let's see if we can find them. The only strawberry today. I found the family. What are you eating this time? Eating nice. The orange ones. They're good? Yeah. yeah. I thought they were hot. Oh, were they? Yes. Ah. Yes. Did you see those candies? Mmm, I did see those candies. They look pretty good. So as you can see, this is a really good market. Definitely worth a visit. One of the better markets in Ao Nang. It's got pretty much everything you could need. Some sunglasses there. I'm coming into the clothes section now. Heaps of clothes here, as well as lots of street food and plenty of drinks as well. Well worth a visit. It's about three kilometers by road from the center of Ao Nang, or two kilometers as the crow flies. That's from the big selfie statue right on the beach road. So some of the pros and cons of this market as I see it. Pros, it's an outdoor market. It is a good shopping experience. It's quite nice here, especially around sunset. There's plenty of parking nearby, but you may have to walk a little bit. And it's on a bitumen road, so it's nice and flat and very suitable for prams and or wheelchairs. The cons, again, it's an outdoor market, so not so good in the rain. Also on rainy days, you're likely to find that there's less vendors here. Some of the shops don't come in the rain. It's also often quite hot here prior to about 5.30 p.m. It does get quite crowded at that time too, so it's probably best to come around sunset. Today, I've come to the Thursday market. This market's got a huge range of food lots of clothes and all sorts of other items. This one's very well organized. There's a section with clothes, street food, fruit and vegetables. And a separate section which serves as a wet market with all sorts of meat, seafood, more vegetables and fruit. It's normally about 70 vendors selling all sorts of street food. in the wet market section there's all sorts of exotic foods there Again, this one is a halal market, so you won't find any pork here. Clothes are a mix of both new and second-hand clothes. Prices are cheap. There's a very local market. This one, there's also a great range of phone cases as well. There's a few shops selling them. It's 
about 6.30 now and it's getting a bit cooler but it's also getting quieter and some of the shops are already starting to close because they've already sold out. Definitely worth a look on a Thursday afternoon slash evening. Today we are at the Saturday market. This market's open every Saturday from 3 p.m. till about 7.30. Again, it's a great local market. Loads of fresh food and street food here. Well, let's go get something to eat. Now, this man has got something that I really like. How good do these look? Looks like it's loading up my favorite. No, there's my favorite there. Only two left. What are you buying? Marshmallows. Uh, so many sweets at these markets. If you're a sweet tooth, you will love Thailand. How's that? Good? Yum. Can I get durian? One, please. One durian and also I will get one blueberry and one Oreo also. Thank you. If you're a sweet tooth, you will love Thailand. So many sweets here and all of them very yummy. So this is a cold crepe. I got it with durian. It has got some sort of durian jam in there in the middle. It's surrounded by cream and wrapped in the crepe. These are one of the best things ever. One of my best finds in Thailand during COVID when this guy appeared at the markets here. The cream is not too sweet, so the hint of durian flavor in there. I could eat these all day. They are so good. And the blueberry one. Again, it's like a blueberry jam. Nice and soft, great texture in the crepe there. This one's a bit messy, I squashed it a bit. Still very edible though. Yup, then the Oreo one. Good smell, chocolatey Oreo, very tasty, not as sweet as the other two. You know, I got my fill of cream for today. Let's see what else we can find. Sorts of sweets in them, only coconut milk based ones. There's a few shops at this market selling these bags. One of them is ridiculously popular. Kapun Kap. It does get very hot at these markets. So I got myself a Thai iced tea. It is April here in Thailand and summer, so very hot. Got myself one of these to cool myself down. Thai iced tea, milky and sweet, good tea flavor. So yum. Mango sticky rice, 30 baht. I'll grab one of these. It's gotta be about the best sweet on earth, I think.
Thank you. This mango sticky rice looks pretty good. This is something you definitely should not miss if you come to Thailand. Always, well, almost always amazing. Mm. That is delicious. The coconut sauce, which I added to it just a moment ago. Mm. Yeah, that is so good. Sweet, a little salty. See, there's a couple of guys back there doing the same as me but without the camera. Mm. Great combination of textures there with the mango, which is nice and soft, the sticky rice. It's got some fried beans on it as well. Mm. So, so good. Definitely a must try if you come to Thailand. <laughs> Pretty spicy. <laughs> market's got heaps of fresh food, lots of Thai cooking ingredients, it's big seafood and meat section. And there's about 60 shops selling street food most weeks. There is currently no Sunday market in Al Nang, but there are Sunday markets in a couple of the other towns in the surrounding areas. Pomuang, Aonamau and Krabby Town also. This market is known as the Night Plaza Market. There are shops here that are open all day but officially it opens at 5 o'clock in the evening and it's open till about 11 at night. There are about eight shops and restaurants selling food here. There's fruit shakes, fresh fruit, artworks, clothes, all sorts of souvenirs. Great place to do some shopping. It's about 800 meters from the big sailfish statue in the center of Ao Nang, which is just back there and around the corner along the beach a bit. It's nearly sunset now, so this market is just starting to come alive. It is on a hill, so it's a little bit difficult to get to if you've got prams or wheelchairs. Also at the top of the hill, there is a big seated eating area there. It's close and convenient, overall worth a visit if you're looking for some shopping or something to eat. This is the Ao Nang Mosque Market. It's normally a lot bigger than this, but because it's Ramadan, it's a bit smaller than usual. It's normally about twice as many shops here. There's a heap of halal food choices, rotis, lots of sweets, ice cream rolls. And across the other side of the road, there's clothing and souvenir shops there. And there's about half as many as what there normally is, but it's a great market, very friendly people and it's open late as well. This one's open from about five till midnight every day of the week. And there's some good looking hamburgers that are walking past you right there. Well worth checking out if you're hungry or you want to do some shopping. This market also has some places where you can sit down and eat and there's also a little food court right next door. All the food here is halal. So that my friends is the end of my Al Nang market guide. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please do give us a thumbs up. It'll really help us to get our channel growing. Do check out my channel for lots more Thai food and travel videos. Be back with you very soon with another one. See you next time. Bye.